G'day guys, it's Glenn VK4NGA. Welcome to the workshop and the shack, all in one place now since my last videos. It's been a while since I've recorded a video, but I really wanted to show you this today. This, uh, this is my all-star node, um, and they've been in production and on sale for about 11 months now here in Australia, and this is completely designed and built in Australia. So it's my own design, um, so we'll start with the RF hat. So this is the, I'll just get it in the correct camera shot, so this is the RF hat, this is my own design RF hat completely designed from the ground up. This is version 1.2 you're looking at now and running the uh, NICE RF SA818S uh, CE version which is uh, FCC certified and CE certified so um, also on the board so the audio side of the board is here we've got the um, control LEDs here we've got a comms LED uh, RX and PTT uh, we've got also a low-pass filter just here, I don't know if you can see that, but it's um, just right there on the board. Little mini circuit slow pass filter. Now on the back of the board is just the get it in the right light so you can see it. There we go. So we've got the full Raspberry Pi header and we've got the JST connector which runs a cable to the Raspberry Pi. So currently um, the, as I said, it's been uh, been on sale. These been on sale um, for um, since October last year. The project started in early 2022, so it gives you an idea of the amount of work that goes into something like this. Uh, I decided to um, make these because you can't buy them in Australia. And my first node was um, from Kits for Hams, and it was a Shari Pie Hat kit, which I bought um, and built. I was pretty impressed with it, but I thought, heck, um, you know, maybe we need to uh, have a a supplier on this side of the world that manufactures. So here we go. So um, as of as of the date of recording this video, these hats are all made uh, in my workshop here in Queensland, Australia. Um, so we'll get into the uh, the demonstration. <coughs> well, first of all, I'll just show you the note. Um, the case. So basically, it's built on a Raspberry Pi three or four let's get that into there we go so you can see all the ventilation at the bottom of the case built on a raspberry pi three or four three b or four b this one's got a three b plus in it um, currently i'm building them on four b's but it just depends on what's available at the time four uh, b one gigabyte uh, does the job fine on a three b plus either or uh, the case is really well ventilated top and bottom and uh, just a little stubby antenna here and you can see the uh the white LED flashing for comms, so this one's on Wi-Fi. Um, these are supplied, when I, the fully built nodes are supplied with a genuine Raspberry Pi power supply. And there's also a large ferrite on that power supply to um, eliminate any noise and hum. Now speaking about noise and hum, that's been a bone of contention for node builders for many years. And um, I wasn't, uh, I didn't ex escape that. Um, but what I did is um, I made some critical design changes to the RF board to eliminate and actually re well in an effort to reduce the the uh, the hum and noise which um, gets picked up from power supplies and other things in your shack and I've been very successful I'll give you an on-air demonstration in a moment and you can have a listen to it there's absolutely no noise in the background on this node and as you can see the nodes just plugged into the, um, the Raspberry Pi cable so uh, also um, the links are in the description where you can buy these nodes I also produce kits so I don't just sell nodes but I wanted to make a kit and I wanted to make a kit that's very much turnkey so uh, my uh, build your own node kit comes with everything that you see here except the Raspberry Pi and the power supply so everything else is supplied uh, there's no soldering to do on the hat the hat comes fully soldered so everything is soldered on the hat, nothing to solder on the hat. Alright, what else can I tell you? So um, we have um, Ethernet and USB ports as well. Just make sure you can see those. Yeah, I've got a blanking plug in here. That's um, because the on the underside, I'm not sure if you can see it. It's hard to see, but there's a small set of cables soldered to the bottom of the board. 
the Raspberry Pi and that um, transmits and receives the audio from the hat to the Pi. Um, my instructions are um, superbly written by myself uh, over um, quite a bit of time um, updated so my instructions are on my website online so the instructions are continuously updated as I get feedback from customers but I do have many of these out there in the field now and I've had no complaints and no warranty issues. Um, I'm probably the only supplier in the world that gives a two year warranty on hardware so that's the kind of confidence that I have in the product. Um, the Raspberry Pi's only come with a 12 month warranty but I double that I just give you two years on the whole unit. Now obviously if you drop it and break it, you know, I'm not going to warrant it, but I'm very lenient with warranties because I want customers to be happy. Okay, so uh, here is the, um, the dashboard, which is Supermon. Uh, currently I have it on um, uh, node 55553, which is Patrick's um, enhanced uh, Parrot node over in Plano, Texas. So I'll just check out, so just using Red of RT3S, uh, this is on 441.250 with a 91.5 tone, so it's FM. And you can see how close the radio is to the node, and we'll just have a on our test. VK4NGA testing audio, 1, 2, 3, 4. I just held the PTT down for a little while longer so we can have a listen to any possible background noise. VK4NGA. Audio level is slightly higher than average. VK4NGA testing audio, one, two, three, four. I just held the PTT down for a little while longer so we can have a listen to any possible background noise. VK4NGA. Okay, I'll do it again, but I won't talk so loud. I was talking pretty loud. VK4NGA audio test, one, two, three, four on the Duranode, VK4NGA. Level is normal. VK4NGA audio test 1234 on the Dura node. VK4NGA. I did forget to tell you what it's called. Yeah, it's called a Dura node. Um, all my products start with Dura. It's just a, uh, it's just a name I came up with. Uh, all about durability. So, um, so that's the node itself. Uh, as I said, um, there's kits available, and if you look in the links. In the description, um, at the moment, at the time of recording this video, the product is only available in Australia and New Zealand, but that's going to change. Um, particularly the kits, I want the kits to be available um, to all amateurs, and obviously with the um, exchange rate uh, from overseas to the Aussie dollar right now, uh, it probably represents a reasonable value with my pricing. I've tried to, tried to price the product as well as I can to get as many of these nodes out in the uh, hands of amateurs. Um, All Star is a great, great system. It really is. There's just some fantastic nodes and hubs out there. In Australia, we have um, a new hub, which is called VK Oz Hub, uh, node 61624. I'm just gonna disconnect from the parrot. Right, and we'll see if we can get something up here. I'll connect to the East Coast Reflector. The middle of the island is a beautiful, beautiful cool night. I'm thinking about closing a window. It might be a little bit too cool. But, uh, so we went from roasting to uh, chilling out, literally. So, back to you. Node two, seven, three, three, nine, connected two, five, four, seven, four, five, three. Don't know what's happening there. Sound like. Oh, uh, here we go. Okay, so that's one of the big American hubs, um, East Coast Reflector, uh, brings in uh, multi-modes, but it is all-star based as well, and um, it's terrific, they uh, they have some great nets on there, lots of nets on there, 
Um, All Star is certainly gaining traction in Australia, and uh, many many amateurs are moving over to All Star. The good thing about All Star is that you don't, you probably won't have to buy a radio because it's just FM. So as you can see, I'm using like this is a hundred and seventy dollar Chinese Red of us RT3S, which I've had for a very long time. It was my second DMR radio I bought. Works great on FM. Um, these nodes are good too because they're about 400 milliwatts output so if you take the rubber ducky off and you put a, uh, a little pigtail antenna to an outside antenna you'll get um, uh, probably I've tested uh, one of these up to about three kilometers from the home QDH on an antenna that's not very high and um, with the handheld I was fully quietening into it so definitely hooking an external antenna gives you a greater range and um, might be just the thing that you need uh, for your um, for your shack or um, or your operating situation. So that's probably about it. Um, I was really pleased to show it to you. Um, I've been meaning to do this video for a long time, but I just have been time poor. The All Star Node project has certainly taken on a life of its own. I didn't expect it to be so popular, um, and the fact that I've changed the manufacturing now to in-house, uh, and actually it's this bench that I do the manufacturing on. Um, is a testimony to my commitment to the product. Uh, I'm always looking at different ideas. I get a lot of customer feedback. Um, it's really good to talk to people that are using nodes in different situations just to get feedback on any any kind of little bugs or problems they've had. But so far, it's all been pretty positive, and um, I'm really uh, really pleased with the product. So, as I said, um, kits are available, so you can build your own Jura node, or uh, if you want a fully built node, they're available at the moment as well. So thanks very much for watching. This is Glenn VK for NGA. Have a great day, 7-3.